subscribe. That's Jimmy Powers out racing mountain bikes mm -hmm. at the uh, Walpole Rebellion. Boston yeah. Rebellion. Yep. Excuse me. Yep. Now, how'd that go? You got a, you got some UCI points. You yeah. beat a bunch of angry mountain bikers. Is that right? Um, yeah. You beat Stephen Hyde. Really? And probably Kerry Werner as well. <laughs> they weren't here. They're deadbeat dads. <laughs> um, well, uh, they weren't here, but I wish they were. Um, it's the first part of winning is showing up. There you go. I um, I don't know. It was good. I was like weirdly happy because we started like basically in the last row and then made some progress throughout the race and didn't you know always in mountain biking or even cyclocross you, you you realize like when people aren't passing you it's going okay. I think only one guy passed me, but he looked like he was really good and he had a problem. And then he came back through, I tried to hang with him, but he was fast. He was so fast. Was he all in red? Yeah. Yeah, that's Nick Lando. He flatted. But yeah, he's, he's a quick kid right now. He's fast. Young guy. Gosh, the young kids. Uh, so I couldn't hang with him, but I, I found my rhythm. I found I was real strong in the non technical stuff. When I had guys in front of me, I was able to pace it, and that was fun for me because I was like being pushed in the technical things that I wasn't as good in, so I wasn't reading the race. I don't know. Mountain bike stuff that I just, I really have ridden my mountain bike a total of eight hours, uh, you know, in the last year. So I'm like, you draw on your like your junior mountain Definitely. biking days yeah sure. i found myself in the rock gardens just being like yeah this is awesome i love this and all the technical stuff i mean we used to race in waterford connecticut uh meadow muffin madness for the old school people out there and that was super fun and i remember all we would do is just try to nail these sections and not dab you know not put your foot down uh it, it, and that was um that's what it was a little bit out there today so i didn't have any dabs today i was pretty pumped Right, how was that A-line? How much, like, did you practice that thing? How, how stressful was that? Times, I hit it five times. On my, I did two laps warming up. I got here early. I did two laps warming up. Um, and I did it five times. And the first two times, I was like, Ugh, I don't like this at all. Uh, and then the last three times, I felt confident. So when we got into the race, I just felt like, wow, that was the worst that could happen. You know, I just hit one of these trees and keep going. But, uh, yeah, I think for, for most people, it's probably a little high. But, I mean, I'm training with the Jam Fun kids, man. We're jumping off things. They're crazy. They really are. Scott's going like no handed down like sand pit things that I'm scared of. And then I'm like, man, it's fine. So uh, it's always about getting the. Getting yeah, and Ellen, the, we have no problem with that, right? I mean, Ellen's jumping like crazy. I hope so. I don't, <laughs> I have really no idea. But I uh, I do know that the more I do it, then the more comfortable I feel. And it's never really. But that is for sure. For someone that doesn't do that very often, that's, that's a big jump. Yeah, what, what brought you out today? Like, you haven't done any mountain bike racing. What brought you out for this today? Yeah, I don't know. Just. Uh, I felt like I got a mountain bike, so I got my new Focus, the, o, the O1E, um, a dual suspension. And I was like, the last time I did this race, I vowed never to do it again uh, if I didn't time. have a, a dual suspension. And so I have a dual suspension, and I feel like I should race. I haven't, I haven't done a lot of racing because we just had a baby, um, and I, needed, I need some racing in my legs. So this was a good opportunity with some good guys to just kind of see how it goes. Um, I don't know. I'll have to see if I do another one. I guess there's there's a couple more coming up. I have a UCI point, seems like, sounds like now. Maybe I'll do another one. I don't know. Just come out to VT3. Race what? with me. I'm returning to racing after five years Ooh. or more. Is that long? I actually, today they're not long. long. They're they're like cross-country size races, but for three days. Well, the first day is only five miles of prologue. Like yeah. Time trial, whatever. Yeah, I just I know why I love cyclocross. The short races are for sure. Like, after an hour, I just, I just start zoning out and thinking about other things. And like, it's hard. So I do love, uh, I do love. That's why I cross. That's why I love cycle cross. The hour long attention. It's true. Yeah. No. It's it's absolutely true. I mean, it's the, I, I'm literally out there thinking in my head like the last lap. Like, God, I could have, we figured it out already. I mean, we've got guys there everywhere, but we figured it out. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So what's going on going in the cross? You got uh, you got some people coming on your team, adding yeah. people to the team, young some young dudes, right? Yeah. You get uh, uh, added Spencer Petrov yeah. to the team. That's official now. Uh, we've been working on that for a while. And yeah, Ellen's back, Spencer's back. Spencer's moving up here uh, to Western Mass. Not here, but to Western Mass. Um, it's gonna be great. We're gonna have the whole team in, in town and training together and you know, integrating with the jam crew and just doing doing it, just racing cyclocross. And I hope that it, yeah, he's young, he's 19. So he's got a big, you know, he's got a long window to develop and I think he's got a good head on his shoulders. So um, I don't know. I was racing out here with Jack today. Steven's in town, Ellen's in town. The whole, yeah, everyone's in town. It's gonna be awesome. Just come to East Hampton. Come to Western Mass. Race some, just do some cyclocross. Come visit. Yeah, uh, but no, everything's going well. I'm, I'm doing some building, and I'm, I don't know. I feel healthy again. Like, 
you know, completely uh, last year had some like injuries and things, just body didn't feel right. So we'll see. I think it's good. I think things are in the right direction. And today was a nice confirmation that like, yeah, I'm not even close to being like ready to shred, but September nine and 10 are pretty far away now still. So things are, things are in the right direction. All right. Yeah, dude. All right. Thanks, All right. man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>